It's uh, Wednesday and I'd like to welcome you into my kitchen. And uh, before I start, Neil wants to say hi. Hi everybody. <laughs> Got my mouth full. Neil has his mouth full because uh, we've been making stuff and uh, I've got a little history. I love history. And uh, uh, my last couple books have all been historical books and the next one will be on history also. But what's interesting I think is where dishes first originated from and salads are fascinating to me and uh, the Cobb salad came from uh, uh, Mr. Cobb himself and uh, the whole thing is in my one of my Hollywood books and it's all about uh, the Brown Derby. But a salad that people think came from Italy and with anchovies is the uh, Caesar salad. And you think Caesar, it's got to come from Italy because of Caesar. And you go over to Italy and they don't really have Caesar salad there. Uh, and then we have done some crazy stuff with Caesar salad, putting chicken on it and doing all sorts of things. The, the original Caesar salad came from Tijuana, Mexico, from the Caesar Hotel. And I want to show you a few pictures that, uh, an old postcard, so take a look. In the 1920s, there was a guy named Cesar Cardini, and he had restaurants around Los Angeles, but he, and they were Italian, and he was Italian, and he also had them down in San Diego. Now, if you haven't been to San Diego area, because I know I have students from all over the, the world, San Diego is pretty close to Mexico and Tijuana. It's only across a little border, and uh, people used to go there very frequently. Well, when there was prohibition, he needed to sell his alcohol still, so he had a restaurant down there and he started making this salad. There's a lot of different stories about how the salad came around, but uh, we're gonna make it. And first we have to make some croutons and croutons you can buy yourself. They would only put one large, about a four inch crouton, well maybe three and a half inch crouton on the plate with the large leaves of lettuce. Now when I was on uh, Holland America ships, they did it table side, which was very nice and they'd make the dressing. There's uh, the Del Rey in, in Los Angeles, uh, table side restaurant. They do it and they ask it, do you want it spicy or not? They put more uh, hot sauce into it. So we're gonna make the croutons first and show you how easy it is. I just took a white bread and cubed it. That's all I did. Then we have olive oil. And uh, just extra virgin olive oil. We toss that around so we have a nice coating. And, whoa, and it goes all over the place. Then we have garlic, is a garlic powder, not garlic salt. Now you could buy them already made if you want, but I'm just gonna make these because this is how they did it. The hotel restaurant is not there, but there is a place called Caesars downtown, and, uh, right in, uh, Tijuana, Mexico, and you can get the dish there still. But we can't go across the border right now. We're stuck. So a little simple single layer. And if you, a, a parsley, if you want to do some dried parsley on that too, you can. But you're going to put this in the oven, a, a hot oven, uh, 400 degrees for about 15 minutes and then they'll be nice and toasty. You can turn them around if your oven doesn't, uh, isn't even, so you'll turn the, the pan around. And when we finish with this, we'll be right back while this is in the oven to make our Caesar dressing. Okay, our croutons are in the oven and while they're in the oven, I'll make the classic dressing for Caesar salad. Then I'm gonna do a lower fat one that I have in one of my books. So um, what we do is we have an egg yolk <laughs> and, <laughs> With the egg yolk, you want, um, you're going to use a, uh, a pasteurized egg if you have any problems with uh, using egg. Then we have lemon juice, and Niels loves it when I tell you how to do the lemon in here because he was all excited the first week. Lemon goes down, and squeeze. 
And then we've got some salt. I always measure salt. If it's not complete measurement, I look at, at it in my palm of my hand just because I don't like to dump it in. Now we're gonna take about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, just like that. And we've got minced garlic. Now last week, the garlic was very mature. This week, it's so fresh. Let me show you the difference. When you see it at the grocery store, this is the very mature garlic, white and the fresh, fresh garlic has a pink purple color to it. And uh, you won't get a green sprout coming out of it, but it's about done for the white. You're gonna be getting the fresher garlic coming out. It's May, June is when garlic season is. Then we're going to take a little bit of that Worcestershire sauce, a few drops, and some apple cider vinegar. Dijon mustard. At first you think there's not a whole lot of salad dressing in here, but there's plenty. And some pepper. And now Neil's gonna come over here and show, look at this. You're gonna watch it while I emulsify this. So here's the inside. And we're gonna take some more olive oil and drizzle it in and a low drizzle, just like that. You can start seeing it emulsifying, which it kind of gets cloudy and thicker, almost like a runny mayonnaise. See how that is? And there, it's done. Beautiful. Now, if you want to add a little kick, a little Tabasco, but this comes from um, New Orleans area. This isn't traditional, but I do. A few little drops, gives a little kick. And we're gonna put our dressing into a pourable bottle, and then we will put together our salad in just a few minutes. Okay, you saw the classic Caesar salad dressing, and uh, we'll dress that up. And what I do is if I'm not using it right away, I'll put it in a little small mason jar like that. And, uh, I'm gonna throw together a very low fat and easy uh, Caesar salad dressing, even though it doesn't have all the components that that one did. Has a lot more garlic. And again, these recipes are all on uh, my website, lemon juice. This does not emulsify like the other one did. We've got balsamic vinegar, red wine vinegar. We've got uh, powdered mustard and a little bit of hot water. And we blend that up. And this one, we're gonna add a little bit of Tabasco and salt and pepper. Salt. And there it is. And this is our lower fat salad for our croutons already. So there. We go, and I'll put this in the jar also, and then we will dress our leaves and with our croutons. All righty, so we'll be back. All righty, our croutons came out. There they are, and uh, nice and crunchy. We'll let these sit for a second, and we'll be right back. <laughs> okay, our salad dressing, we did that, and then our uh, croutons came out and they're cooled and we're going to assemble the whole thing and I have seen the salads made with long leaves and then I've seen it also with chopped up and chopped up they do it more table side and when I was researching they did it like this so I'm just trying to stay with the historical way and this way it's also not the easiest to eat but, and you need a long plate, I feel, when you do this. And our dressing, shake it up a little bit. And you're just going to drizzle it on top. It's not a big coating, just drizzle. And then you're gonna take 
some of your croutons. Remember I told you that they only used one crouton, but it was a large crouton that they used. Then we have our Parmesan cheese that's shredded. And that is it. You serve it with a chilled fork. Remember the first time I went to a restaurant as a little kid when the, the, the waiter came over with this fork in a napkin that was chilled and I thought, oh, this is fancy. I knew I'd made it. And uh, I think uh, my sister said, I already have a fork. So <laughs> I got, I knew what it was all about. So anyway, there is your Caesar salad from Tijuana, Mexico. Yum. Anyway, I'd like to thank you all so much for joining us today, and we will see you tomorrow. Take care and have a great day.